so we decided we're going to head down south to Charmouth in Dorset on the Jurassic Coast to do a bit of fossil hunting. We're setting off late tonight because we've been out for a curry this evening at the Basmatic Curry House in Newcastle under Lyme, which in my opinion is the best curry house in the country. We're heading out later, we're hoping to avoid a lot of the traffic, but if we get tired we'll just pull over and sleep in a lay-by somewhere. Either way, we're hoping to turn up in Charmouth nice and early in the morning so we can get onto the beach first thing and find some wonderful fossils. So having um, left late at night to avoid all the traffic, we ended up having a nightmare coming down here. Um, the uh, M6, as soon as we got on it, was chocker. And then not one, but two um, closures on the M5. So we ended up just pulling off the first, first opportunity we got off the M5, staying in the lay-by, which um, uh, was a bit noisy and smelt of wee. Uh, but it did um, achieve our objective of getting down to the beach at Charmouth really early in the morning, so here we are. This is a really great car park we stayed on. It's right next to the beach and it costs something like five pounds for 12 hours. You can't stay overnight there, but that's not a problem. Uh, so fossil hunting on the way, but first we're gonna have some breakfast. Um, Richmond have been doing some vegetarian or vegan sausages, which we quite like. So today we're trying out their uh, vegan bacon. Claudia, what's the verdict? Wow. Well, I think I prefer real bacon. <laughs> How rude. This is where the tide coming in is pounding on the wet clay that collapsed in the last landfall. And it's just exposing the small bits of ammonites. Fossil hunting this afternoon. Look at that. It's beautiful, that one, isn't it? I think that's my favourite, even though it's tiny. I don't know what it is. See the gold, no? I'll get a close up of it later, don't worry. Um, there, we, that's, that's really great. nice. And we'll look, we've got um, mostly ammonites or bits of ammonites. What are these? Well, everyone else on the beach was calling them dolomites. But I think they're Bellamites or Bellamites <laughs> or something. <laughs> I'm going to go with Bellamites. I don't know. Whatever. I, like I, like, I, yeah. well, no, I like this because it's shiny. This this one was one that I found that had been like rolling around in the ocean rather than stuck in the rock. So it's almost been like polished yeah, by the nice, ocean. I like that. These came out of the clay, so they're a bit dirtier. And I, I, These are my favourite types then. It's not a full ammonite. I don't know if you've quite got the, the light to see that, but these are ones that have actually um, been fossilised with iron pyrite. Yeah. So fool's gold. So you can just about see the shimmer on it, I think. Well, hopefully. that's what that little one was. Yeah, that's that little one. That's why I love it so much. It's, I get a close-up of it, but that's, that's You can see the awesome. iron, iron pyrite, is it? Whatever it's called. In there. Yeah, yeah. That, see, that one, you might be able to see that one glistening a little bit. If we move it around. So Wait. that one could be my favourite as well. Am I allowed two favourites? No, that's oh, literally okay. not the definition of a favourite. <laughs> Joint favourites. Um, so there you go. Lots and lots of ammonites. <laughs> no laughing. Look at that. Oh, you can see the glitter on that one. Look at that. Can you see that shimmering? Look at that. That's amazing, isn't it, actually? Wow, that's beautiful. That's me. That's, that one's my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> right, stop it. And that's it. Yeah. Okay. No but more I, fossils listen, for you, young man. <laughs> I'm really happy with that. I think we've done. I think we've done all right. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, let's try. What are you going to do with me? Well, 
uh, oh, I look at them, I suppose. What does anybody do with them? Velociraptor claw. Oh, that probably is actually. Without a shadow of a doubt, yeah. Velociraptor claw. Velociraptors were definitely Jurassic dinosaurs, weren't they? Now they look super Cretaceous. <laughs> for tea which is uh, pasties chips and peas and gravy cooked on the ridge monkey we've been trying out the ridge monkey lately everyone tells us they're so brilliant and they are they have a place not as good as using our dutch oven on the open fire but if you just want to make a quick tea on the camping stove it's brilliant so with tea done um there's still plenty of time left in the evening it's a lovely evening so we take a stroll through the really lovely little um, town of Lyme Regis. So with nowhere to stay on the beach at Charmouth or Lyme Regis, we headed inland into the hills and we found a lovely little park up actually about 20 minutes drive away. And this was the view we woke up to in the morning. So today we're thinking of heading over to the uh, Dorset Heaths around Purbeck, see if we can find any snakes and lizards. Um, but on the way we see a sign for Toll Puddle, so we think we've got to stay and have a look at the village which is famous for the Toll Puddle Martyrs. It's a really lovely little village actually, but the highlight is the museum. I won't tell you the story of the Toll Puddle Martyrs, but it's absolutely worth learning if you don't know it already. And if you're ever in this area around Dorchester and Dorset, pop in. Uh, have a look at the village and have a look at the museum because it's absolutely fascinating and it's a nice timely reminder actually with sort of the trend towards zero hours contracts and things of what life was like before we had a labour movement and before we had trade unions. So we're heading towards the Dorset Heaths again and we get distracted again this time by the really pretty uh, village of Corf Castle. This for me sums up exactly what a pretty English village should look like. It really is quintessentially English. So we finally arrive at the um, heaths around uh, Purbeck and I'm off to find some snakes. I'm hoping that uh, I find snakes of the reptile variety and don't see any trouser snakes. first find isn't a snake but a lizard, a legless lizard, a slow worm, anguis fragilis, one of my absolutely favourite animals of all time. This one's a female, um, you can tell that by the dark flanks, 
uh, and she's really, really beautiful. Well, I have to say, horseflies can be a right pain in the bum, but there's no denying that they have spectacularly beautiful eyes. As much as I love slow worms, this is what I've really come to see. This is a smooth snake. It's the UK's rarest snake. You only find them here, in the Dorset Heaths, uh, then I think in the New Forest there's a few, and on the Surrey Heaths as well. Um, but they're very, very rare. The smooth snakes are so rare, in fact, that they get extra protection. Most British reptiles and amphibians are covered by the Wildlife and Countryside Act, um, so you're not allowed to kill them deliberately or injure them or um, sell them, but smooth snakes get extra protection and you're not actually allowed to handle them without a license. I won't um, go into too much detail about how to get a license, but you get them from Natural England, and I certainly won't tell you how much they cost because I haven't told Claudia yet. Look at that beautiful golden eye, what a stunning looking snake. We're headed back inland looking for somewhere to park up for the night and we head through Corf Castle again which actually looks even more beautiful after a bit of rain and in the uh, late evening sun. It's places like this with the uh, castle that make me want to join the National Trust. We're actually considering it, wondering whether it might be worth it, especially now the National Trust are looking into whether or not people in camper vans will be able to stay on their car parks overnight. So we're heading out for the uh, park up for tonight, which is a lay-by called Pool View, and we'd get there just in time to see a lovely sunset. <laughs> 